that great French type music indicates is France. The year, Paris. The place, 1878. The time, half past two by the great exhibition of 1855, when the whole nation abandoned itself to the wild pleasures of ballooning. And here, to open the great exhibition, is the mayor of Paris, Monsieur Jean Jacques Marie Louis Twill. <laughs> He says, uh, he says it gives him great pleasure. And now he offers a grand cash prize to the first French military band to ascend into the air by balloon whilst playing their instruments. And now Saint Worship, La Mer, is about to cut the rope that tethers the grand balloon to La Mother Earth. It's Paris, Paris in the year of the Great Exhibition of 1878. In other words, 1882. My name is Toulouse Lautrec, Neddy Toulouse Lautrec of Leeds, painter of the Paris scene from Fresh Angle. Boy, that sure was terrible. What, 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 what? Hey, you don't forget your picture, Kingfish. Oh, well, that sure has cleared the air. My story is of a great love, Fifi, but more of her later. Much more. <laughs> Hold it for a moment longer, darling. Right, our thoughts? That's a lot. Good afternoon. In the French. Needle noddle the new. Who are you? I am Count Jim Fred Nies Mariotti. A likely story. You come here a complete stranger? Corrected. I am an incomplete stranger. Explain. Guarde, I have it with a wooden leg. Stop throwing my leg! Timber! For the front! Yes. That's got you down to my size. Now, what is your business? I, monsieur, am a collector. What do you collect? Firewood. I pay two francs a bundle. Two francs? Stop throwing up my wooden leg! You insult me! We must fight the duel! Honor is satisfied. Monsieur Latarek, I can do business with a man like you. Me? I am but a poor old painter. So I see by your poor old painting. You insult me. We must fight a duel. Thank you. Honor is satisfied. Now, what do you want? That painting on that dirty great easel. Ten francs? Ten francs? He's made me an offer. I've sold my first painting. Correct then. You've sold your first easel. That dirty great easel is not for sale. Chuck, fifteen yakos. That great easel sewn up would make fifty bundles of French type firewood. I must have eat. I must think of the plan. Monday. Good evening. Is your mother in, Sonny? Sonny? I am Toulouse Lautrec. And where are you going to lose him? <laughs> Who are you? Gauguin, Monsieur Paul Gauguin. You've heard of me? Oh, yes. I've read all of your paintings from cover to cover. <laughs> Entrez. I'll make a pot of wine. Finx. This man, Gauguin, is a painter. If I could get him to paint a portrait of that dirty great easel, I could take the actual easel for firewood, leaving the painting in its place. And Nettie would never know the difference. Thank you for telling us the plot. Monsieur, I want you to paint a portrait of that dirty great easel. Uh, I shall have to have a model. You can have my poor old grandmother. Meantime, paint that easel. <laughs> Gauguin stayed with me for weeks and worked on a painting which he would never let me see. I didn't mind that so much, but he kept eating the still life. 
<laughs> it made my work very difficult. Answer the door, will you? To lose, darling. Fifi! Darling. Oh, <laughs> you two haven't met before, have you? Mm. Well, uh, this is Fifi, my wife. Mm. Uh, Fifi, this is my trusted friend. Mm. This is uh, Fifi. Mm. <laughs> oh, Fifi, this mm. is... Oh, yeah. Anybody got a crowbar? <laughs> Hello? I just wanted to say his name is Paul Gogan. Thank you. Who was that, dear? Me. Neddy, we three are going to be jolly happy together, it seems. Aren't we, dearest? I'm so glad you and Paul are going to get along together. <laughs> well, let's celebrate, shall we? I'll make dinner. Now, uh, where are those, uh, uh Fifi? Uh, uh, Fifi? Ooh. <laughs> I say, just a minute. Fifi, mm. I say. Hello, hello. Darling, what are the matches? On the cupboard. Thank you. Oh, how happy we were together. Yes. I didn't see much of Fifi. For that matter, I didn't see much of Paul, so that evened things up. Then, one French evening... Oh, c'est triste. C'est terrible. Don't stop, darling. Tell me all. Oh, quel dommage. Comme c'est triste. Oh, visage maintenant. Que si je veux faire? Oh, et mon amour, ma maison est tombée. Tombée sur Oh, je veux un pour la coupe. Le monde est tombé par mes oreilles. Oh, qui de vous, mademoiselle, ne parlez pas de répondre un jour le prochain mot. C'est des traits d'air qui ne veulent pas tomber votre cœur. Oui. Et non, le seul prénom, pourquoi tu changes le passé? Oh, qu'est-ce que je vais faire maintenant? Comme je suis pris. Cat, if I get only speak French. It's Paul. He didn't come home to me last night. What? He can't do that to a wife of mine. He has been unfaithful to us. I'll flash you with a hundred miles of my life. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, there's naughty French can can dancers. And they tell me the women are even worse, you know. Major Bloodnock, stop looking at those naughty waiters and listen to moi. Oh, Gauguin is very slow painting that portrait of an easel. Go on up, an Eddie, a slightly higher price for the real easel. There's five English per cent in it for you. Tell me more. It's Paul. You swine, Gauguin! Take that! <laughs> There now, you swine. What are you to say for yourself? Hello. Then get out, Eccles. Oh, darling, look, you have cut yourself fighting. Let me kiss away those broken bones. There, is that better? Fine, fine, fine. Get out, Eccles. No, Eccles. Get out, get out. Oh, so we are alone. Yes, darling. Let me in that hole! Shut up! Shut up! Now, get out, you idiot! I'm sorry about that interruption, darling. That's okay, darling. Get out, that dog! To lose, to lose. Who is that woman? Woman? I thought a man. That impulsive girl. <laughs> oh, well, she's obviously gone for a breath of fresh air. Ah, oh, darling, you're back. You look much better after your little walk. <laughs> Thank you. Now to business. My name is Major Dennis Bloodnock. Why are you disguised as a steak and kidney pudding? I have authority to offer you 95 francs for that easel in French currency. A hundred franc note? I've no change. Have you nothing smaller? I have a bus ticket. Not enough. Two bus tickets and an empty matchbox. I accept. Wait. How do I know these bus tickets are genuine? Great boiling buckets of bringe. I used them myself only this morning. Look, here's a photograph of me being thrown off the bus. Proof enough? Proof enough? I'm sorry I doubted you. Now, here's the dirty great easel all wrapped up in brown type paper. Last six o'clock, Sapristi Lanyergles. I told that fool blood duck to meet me here at La Five. 
Oh, Mariotti, I've got it, I've got it. I knew you'd get it one day. You must see a vet at once. Naughty, Mariotti. Look, I've got the easel. Oh, good. I've managed to get it for only 150 francs. Thank you. Now, what about the commission? I can let you have two francs in unused socks. What? You deceived me. We must fight a duel. Three paces, then fire. Satisfied. Thanks to cock pop guns, the coward's secret weapon. Now, I will go in and sell the easel. Alone. Oh, no, I'm coming too. I want to see how much you sell it for. Quick! Please! <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got rid of him. Ah! Monsieur Krug, look, I have a dirty great easel to sell for firewood. Oh, oh yes. It's all solid wood except for the pig holes. And they're solid air. There. Wait a minute. This is only a painting of an easel. <laughs> In French, I've been less swindled. This painting is signed by Paul Gaugin. I'll give you a thousand francs for this. What? Pinks? If a painting of the dirty great easel is worth a thousand francs? Then the original easel must be what? Ooh, a fortune! I must get it! Gabby! Gabby in French! Yeah! I heard you call, Mon Capitan. Voila! Silence! Drive into the studio of Toulouse the Trek and step on it! Oh, well, I haven't got a horse. I know. I will pull the carriage myself. Get down off the seat. Get between shafts. Don't impress no horse. Do you know the address? No, do you? Of course I know the address. Then I will follow you, my captain. Onward! Onward! <laughs> If you were much longer, she'd love you much more. Swine! Then I hit on a plan. To prove my devotion to her, I would set fire to the Eiffel Tower. Cassius, it wouldn't catch. The great iron pillars must have been damp. To help it along, I chopped up the dirty great easel for firewood. <laughs> ah! And Nelly! The... Ah! Stop! You've destroyed the easel with the fortune! Fool, fool! Oh! Ruin! A terrible ruin! Ah. And that, mon cher viewers, is why the Eiffel Tower that you see today in Paris is not the original Eiffel Tower, but a cunning replica. Good night in French.